Maniac Cop is a movie I first saw when I was maybe four or five years old thanks to parental figures who really just didn't give a crap about what I was doing or where I was. As a result, the police-flavoured horror romp starring Bruce Campbell and Robert Zadar has always had a special place in my heart, and while it may be written off as a fun but silly slasher flick, there's something immensely impressive about the whole thing. Here's why. Maniac Cop stars Robert Zadar as Matt Cordell, a killer police officer who goes on a string of murders and terrorises a small town. The thing that's truly amazing about this film is that the writer and director took an otherwise ludicrous fantastical concept and turned it into something believable. The idea that a cop, an American cop, would ever make people feel afraid instead of safe is something so absolutely nonsensical, in the wrong hands it could come off as total gibberish. Yet, Maniac Cop makes us feel that a cop could abuse the power of his uniform and kill innocent, unarmed people. Before I saw Maniac Cop, the idea of a police officer even being near a weapon that he shouldn't have in the first place would have been too ludicrous to comprehend, and yet this movie makes me feel like it could happen. Not in my lifetime, perhaps, but it could happen. Cordell attacks people for the crime of just being on the street or crossing his path, and uses violence as a means to silence those who were doing nothing wrong. It could have gone terribly wrong, this idea, but Zadar's chilling performance and William Lustwig's intense direction turn an otherwise idiotic concept into something frighteningly plausible. One way in which Maniac Cop is so effective is that it throws in just enough realism to make the less believable elements work. For instance, Bruce Campbell's character, police officer Jack Forrest, is believed at one point to be the killer, and the suspected white cop is promptly arrested and treated with nothing but disdain by his fellow officers. This reminds us what the cops are really like, and thus paints an authentic portrait of American policing in which to drop our unusual premise. Maniac Cop understands that even the craziest fiction benefits from some grounding in the real world, and the arrest of Campbell's character sets the tone perfectly. Of course, we don't want to be too mired in the real world, so there's plenty of scenes of cops failing to keep the peace and accidentally spreading terror throughout the town thanks to a mixture of inactivity and ineptitude. Perhaps the biggest stretch of the imagination is the scene in which ordinary people on the street proclaim that they're scared and mistrust the cops. At that point, I was about to say, oh, they're going too far, but then I didn't because I just remembered this is a film and sometimes you have to just go with it. I've seen plenty of my friends murdered by cops shot in the back, shot when they didn't have a gun or a knife, claiming the suspect had a shiny object. You know, cops like killing. That's why they're cops. Matt Cordell is himself a terrifying look at what could happen in an alternate universe. He was charged with police brutality, a term so alien to me that I'm fairly certain it was made up for the movie. I also like the bit where she's wiping all the blood off the windshield, it's funny. 